Welcome to another episode of Saturdays. Today, I'm going to talk to you about one of the most bizarre stories I have ever heard. Firstly, I'd like to say that I apologize in advance for any names that I pronounce incorrectly. So it's safe to assume that most of you watching know what cannibalism is. It's when one consumes another individual of the same species. Cannibalism is common in many animal kingdoms, and human cannibalism has been well documented in both ancient and recent times. How recent, you ask? Well, try 2001, when a German computer repair tech named Armin Mues placed an ad online for a, and I quote, young, well-built man who wanted to be eaten. When his friends and family found out, they were shocked because Mues was perfect. He was the perfect neighbor. He mowed lawns, offered to repair friends' cars, and even hosted dinner parties at his home. However, under this charming outer layer lived a deeply disturbed human being who craved human flesh. Mewes had an obsession with cannibalism from a very early age. He became a member of an online community called the Cannibal Cafe, which was a blog for people with cannibal obsessions and fetishes. It was there that he posted his ad looking for a well-built 18 to 30 year old to be slaughtered and then consumed. This sounds crazy, right? Well, the crazier part is that someone actually replied. Many people replied, but they always ended up backing out. That was until he got a reply from Bern Hergen Armando Brandes an engineer from Berlin. It turned out that as much as Mewes wanted to eat someone, Brandes really wanted to be eaten. On March 9th, the two met at Mewes' home. Brandes began his evening by swallowing 20 sleeping pills and downing a bottle of liquor. Then he laid down in Mewes' bathtub while he set up a video camera to showcase the entire event. Mewes began by amputating Brandis' male parts with a knife. This was after unsuccessfully attempting to bite it off. Mewes took the severed appendage and fried it in a pan with salt, pepper, wine, garlic, and some of Brandis' own fat. Unfortunately, he burned the male part and was unable to eat it, so instead, he fed it to his dog. Brandes had initially planned to join Muez in the cannibalism, however, he managed to only eat a single bite of his own flesh before blood loss made him too weak to continue. Muez then drew Brandes a bath. He took a break to read a Star Trek book checking on Brandis every 15 minutes while he bled out. After the bath, Brandis collapsed into unconsciousness due to the blood loss. After long hesitation and prayer, Muez killed Brandis by stabbing him in the throat. He then hung the body on a meat hook. The entire ordeal took four hours the entirety of which was caught on tape. Over the next 10 months, Muez devoured Brandis' body, storing parts of his body in his freezer, hidden behind pizza boxes. Authorities say he consumed over 44 pounds of flesh. 
In December 2001, Mewis was finally arrested. A college student had found the new advertisement for a victim online, as well as details about Brandis' murder. He called the police who searched Mewis' home and found the body parts and the videotape. Mewis admitted to murder and cannibalism, claiming that it was an act of sexual pleasure, but he added that he regretted his actions. Made Mewis the first German citizen to be charged with love cannibalism. He was quoted as saying that he always had a fantasy, and in the end, he fulfilled it. In 2004, Mewis was convicted of manslaughter, but in 2015, he was retried on one count of murder, as the court felt the charge of manslaughter was not enough. In 2016, he was sentenced to life in prison, which he is currently serving. He has since became a vegetarian. Okay guys, so as always, just please remember to like this video if you like this video, and I'll see you next Saturday.